in her budget speech for the 2014-2015 financial year, Finance Minister Maria Chuanuka imposed an income tax on all private education institutions. This measure is expected to generate 15 billion. But this measure has thrown private schools owners into panic. They have now petitioned Parliament to prevail on the cabinet to reverse those new tax proposals. It will cause unemployment of many teachers, whereby private schools will no longer be able to afford enough teachers. It is a ticket to nowhere for most poor children, most and now the private schools will be forced to hike their school fees more to cover the taxes. The petition was addressed to the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga. It is our mother country, must all of us come together and share to have service delivered to our people in terms of harmonizing the system so that we move together with the government. Madam Speaker, the proposal is a breach of the Trading License Act, Chapter 101, and is meant to legalize license fees for schools which are not covered under the Trade, li the trade Licensing Act. The private school owners threatened to come at Parliament with pupils and students and their parents if government insists on levying the new taxes. Teaching the, the citizens of Uganda uh, is we are not intending to get any money or any profit, but we are delivering a service to see that Uganda attains total development. Private schools constitute 80% of all educational institutions in Uganda, with 3,600 schools in Kampala alone. The proposal is a contradiction of the presidential directive exempting private schools from paying taxes. We have attached a copy, Madam Speaker. Speaker Rebecca Kadaga promised to deliver their petition to the plenary of parliament. In the 2014-2015 budget estimates, government introduced a raft of new taxes and restored others like levies on fuel and paraffin. This in a bid to collect more money in the wake of donor cards following the enactment of the anti-homosexuality law. Jingo Francis, NTV.